Since the end of last year, we have another big player with high potential in the mobile 3D scanning business. Reality Capture with its app Reality Scan not only brings big names in the game, but also an interesting workflow for scanning objects with your mobile devices. How this workflow looks like and why I somehow have a love and hate relationship with it, I will show you in this video. Like with every scan process, we have to choose an object. Try to avoid reflections, very smooth surfaces and transparency. Since we are taking photographs and we can see through transparency, the overall shape cannot be determined by the app. On very smooth surfaces, we will get holes in the mesh, because while we are walking around the object, we won't get enough similarity between the images and therefore the app won't have enough feature points to connect them. And reflections will cause noisy meshes and textures because also while we are walking around the object the reflections will disappear and the previous image and the next image won't have a nice overlap on this spot. In case of reality scan I noticed that it has a lot of trouble focusing on small objects while taking the images. So I chose in this case another object that is a bit larger than the one I scanned with Polycam. The workflow of reality scan is very different compared to Polycam. We start by manually shooting around 20 images and wait for them to align. So we now have 20 images and waited for them to align. If we click on preview mode, we can see that there's a little point cloud already existing and we can crop some unwanted areas out. Right about so. Make sure to not drop out some important areas. Hit apply and we have our little gnome in the center. Now we can add the other images up to 200 in total. If you have around 50 images left, look into the preview again and check if there are some errors or alignment issues or if you have to reshoot something. We can check the mesh, we just have to wait for the alignment and then we can check if there are some bad areas that we have to reshoot. Alright, the mesh has been processed. Over here we can see the head of course quite noisy and has some wrong geometry and in the fold there's also some red areas it have to be reprocessed. The bottom of the feet is not really necessary. We just can crop them out. So some, some images from bottom and behind. All right, let's do this. Alright, we have captured our images. Those orange images, which you can see over here in the bottom, they are um, filtered out by reality scan. Else we can uh, just have a look at the color. You can see the mesh is slightly wonky and the textures are a bit blurry. So that's something reality scan has to work on. So there's nothing else to do here anymore. Let's hit export to Sketchfab and I'll see you there. So here in Sketchfab we go to our dashboard and choose models. In there we will have a draft, so we hit that one and we can check the model in here. Let's go to edit properties and in order to get this model we have to publish this project. Here on the right side you can see some settings 
what's important if you would like to publish it who can see you can choose either public private or passport since the model is not cleaned up and you don't want to publish it if it's not cleaned up then choose anyone with the link let's have a look to the other settings allow comments it's not necessary since it's private allow texture inspection this is necessary uh, if you would like to download it later so it states that downloadable and store models must be inspectable so we tick that one to on age restricted content it's up to you the download will be free if you're publishing your model in public then you also have to make sure under which license you're publishing your model And over here you will have a preview in which file format your model will be provided in Sketchfab. So if you would like to change the title you can do this over here. Ok, let's hit save and publish privately. Let's have a look. Alright, it's published and then we can download it over here. So now I will tell you why I have an issue with this workflow and let me know in the comments below if you have a different opinion on this. My problem with this workflow is that there is a lot of readjusting going on between the alignment and a good model and don't have the possibility to retake pictures if something goes bad. If you're starting with photogrammetry, it's important to know those cleanup processes that the reality scan wants you to go through. But as you're getting more and more confident in photogrammetry, it's important that you're focusing on those images you're taking and make them as good as possible so that there is not much cleanup left afterwards. The best results you can get is when you're transferring your cleanup process to your computer. So download your model from Sketchfab and follow me into the next video.